How's it going? Adam Drake here, and today I want to talk a little bit about tuning with upper front arm position. So I've done a video in the past talking about upper front arm position in terms of raising and lowering the upper front arm and what that does to the roll center and also the feeling on the track. Today, though, I'm going to talk a little bit about the upper front arm uh, length, so moving it in or out on the shock tower. Now with the MBX-8R series having square pills, you can move it not only up and down, but also in and out. One thing to consider when moving the upper front arm in is you're going to want to add a one millimeter washer to the upper front arm. So remove the pillow ball, add a washer. If you shorten the upper front arm, you're going to want to remove that washer. Now, depending on the conditions and the feeling you like, you may run a longer upper front arm or an inner position and keep just the one millimeter washer. But for your initial testing, I recommend keeping that upper front arm, um, basically the camber the same. So if you go longer, add a washer. If you go shorter, remove a washer. Um, so now we'll kind of get into what a longer upper front arm is gonna do versus short upper front arm. So the standard position is obviously the middle. If you go longer with the upper front arm, it's gonna make the car roll a little bit more, but it's also gonna roll a little bit slower, but roll deeper into the roll. So it's not gonna be as like sharp and crisp feeling. The opposite would happen if you go shorter. So if you go shorter, it's going to be a little bit stiffer initially, but then when it rolls, it's going to roll a little bit faster and it's going to make the steering feel a little bit crisper and sharper. So if you're on a tighter track or you're looking for a little bit more um, kind of front end grip or steering, you would want to run shorter. If you're say you're on a track that's like really aggressive and the front end is um, just, just too aggressive, it's a little bit hard to um, kind of take a set getting into the corner, then you would want to go longer. So just the, the kind of simplest way that, to look at it is longer is going to be calmer, smoother, shorter is going to be more aggressive and just sharper feeling on the track. And then you can compound that with playing with the amount of camber um, by the number of washers and then also playing with the height. So if you watch my other video on upper front arm position where it talks about the height and you kind of combine the theories between the height and also the position, um, there's a lot going on there. So um, it's something for you to kind of get out and test and try at the track, but just want to make sure that guys kind of have a little bit of basic knowledge to understand kind of the theory or what it should do um, before just making a bunch of changes to their car. So again, if you're at the track, front end feels too aggressive, try going longer. If the front end feels too numb and you want it to be a little bit more aggressive, go shorter with the upper front arm position.